Welcome to Epic Stock Due Diligence. Please subscribe at youtube.com forward slash Epic Stock DD. Thank you. Hey everyone, Ed here back again from Epic Stock Due Diligence. And I wanted to put together a little PowerPoint, actually a keynote presentation, to explain how the stock market works. Uh, now you may or may not have seen my other videos if you haven't. I strongly encourage you to subscribe to youtube.com forward slash epic stock DD. Uh, this is some, a somewhat entry level presentation, but I wanted to share it because not everyone has even had the entry level type knowledge. So I hope you enjoy this. I want to start out with my disclaimer. All contents within are for entertainment purposes only and should not be considered a recommendation to buy or sell security. I'm just sharing this content for entertainment purposes only. First part that anyone should understand is the bid and the ask. Now when you're watching TV, whether it's CNBC, Bloomberg, or another financial network, and you see that ticker going by on the bottom, that's the ask. Uh, that's the ask price. Now there's two different, the best way to visualize this is a fence. So the ask is on one side of the fence, and the bid is on the other side of the, fen of the fence. So the ask is what one would pay to add shares. So that could be somebody that has zero shares of this particular company, or maybe they already have some shares and they're adding more. Uh, whatever the situation may be, anytime someone is going to add shares of a company, they'll be adding at the ask price. Now, if someone already has shares of a company and they want to try to let go of them, they would expect to receive uh, whatever the bid price is. And the ask and the bid price, they may vary. Now the middleman. The middle middleman is a broker. Now there's a lot of popular brokers on, on the internet, Ameritrade, E-Trade, Scott Trade, just to name a few, Fidelity. And what a broker does is enables this transaction to take place. So, you know, you're a you're a retail investor more than likely. And when you're adding shares or when you're letting go of shares, you're going through that middleman to make that transaction happen. And that middleman is the broker. You got to have a broker to trade stocks. Now here's a sample trade and I'm just illustrating a fictitious example of, of adding shares. So assume that a broker charges $8 for commission. Commission may vary among brokers. Some of them are more expensive, less expensive. Uh, typically, it's possible to find some that are in the 8 to $13 range per trade. Keep in mind that the commission typically applies to each transaction. So if you buy something and then immediately let go of it, you're going to get hit with the $8 for the, uh, for the initial commission and then the $8 for the uh, second commission. And there may be some other charges depending upon the securities being traded, so always be careful. So a sample trade of adding shares would be company XYZ on the ask is $1 and on the bid is $0.80. Cents. So a person has a $100 bill, they would receive, if they purchased this XYZ company at an ask of $1, they would receive 92 shares. And the reason being is that the other $8 of that $100 would cover the commission cost. And here's a sample trade of letting go of shares that one already possesses. So again, assume that the broker charges $8 for commission. We're dealing with fictitious company XYZ. The ask is a dollar and the bid is 80 cents. So it hasn't changed from the time it was bought. Now a person that holds 92 shares and lets go of all of it would receive $65.60. And that's because that's... Uh, taking into account that $8 commission. So this just goes to show the uh, simple trading scenario here because this this uh, this particular example when the person added shares and then when they let go of all their shares because the ask and the bid neither one of them changed they sold let's just say a few minutes later they sold for a loss. So they came into this situation with a hundred dollar bill and now they're walking away with $65.60. And that's because the ask and the bid aren't always the same. And if there's no volume to make the, uh, the prices fluctuate, 
it's possible to, I mean, this just goes to show how quickly money can be lost in the stock market. Now, how is money made? Selling shares when the bid price is greater than the ask purchase price. So if the bid goes up, say someone, uh, say someone bought an ask price of a dollar, and then the, the, uh, both the ask and the bid start to climb. The ask is at is at a dollar thirty cents now, and the bid's at a dollar twenty cents. If that person lets go of the shares they own, they'll more than likely make a profit. Now, keep in mind, anytime one's letting go of shares, it's always important to take those commissions into account because there's commission when the when the shares were initially purchased. There will be a commission when the shares are let go of. So make sure that if if you, if you think you're going to try to to make some money take those into account and see if you'll actually make money or not because it may not the bid may not have gone up enough to to uh, override those two commission costs and how money is lost selling shares when the bid price is equal to or less than the original ask purchase price and notice it says equal to or less than because if the bid's the same when that person's uh, selling, if the bid's the same as their asked purchase price, they're going to lose because they're losing commission. So if they bought at an ask of a dollar and they're letting go of their shares at a, at a bid of a dollar, they're they're not they're losing the commission. So they're losing commission for the for the initial purchase and then the commission for the for the uh, for the liquidation of the shares they held. Now if you want to know more, and I do know this was a very, very elementary video, but that's why I posted it, because if you want to know more, please subscribe to Epic Stock Due Diligence on YouTube, and I'm, I'm on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Epic Stock DD. And be sure to share this uh, video with others and encourage people that you know to subscribe. And all my videos are for entertainment purposes only and should not be considered a recommendation to buy or sell a security. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.